Tonight in the Sanctuary, we have a comparison of the original Tweeterhead Superman exclusive that had a few problems and the replacement that's shipping now. If you order the exclusive Superman directly from Tweeterhead, you're very aware of this tale of it arriving and not being quite up to snuff. There were problems with the cape, there were problems with the paint, and we've had quite a delay uh, waiting for a replacement. Chad at Tweeterhead made the decision, the very difficult decision, to replace the entire run. So folks who had ordered the regular from Sideshow or other sources, Big Bad Toy Store for example, um, they probably have already received theirs. The regulars came first, and now we're finally seeing the exclusives. And I'm happy to report that the problems have been corrected, and it's really, it's a nicer statue than I remembered. Let's take a look. So first I wanna give you a little reminder on the problems we had uh, with the original release of the Superman exclusive. And the main problem is that the cape keys into the back, that very large key in the back there. And you have to remove the cape to switch out the portraits. Now, of course, the regular won't have that problem because there's only one portrait with the regular. They didn't get the uh, X-ray vision portrait, or I'm sorry, the heat vision portrait. So they didn't have to switch back and forth. But those of us who got the exclusive noticed that when you switch out that cape, you get <laughs> you get red paint scraping off from the cape onto the neck. And that was a big frustration right away. Uh, the other problems were paint. Uh, you'll notice around the belt area, it was pretty sloppy. Let me turn it here. See the blue paint on top of the belt. And in parts, it just, it almost felt like it needed another coat. It just didn't look right. See how sloppy that is right there. Just not great. And then some people didn't like this one. This is kind of nitpicking. They didn't like the shape of the S. They thought that this should, this little dot here should be a triangle instead of just that little dot. So those were the main problems. Otherwise, a really nice statue. I really like the portraits, the sculpt, really, really nice. The base, your typical Fortress of Solitude base. But the other problem with the cape See if I can get this back on one-handed. It's hard enough doing it two-handed. There we go. See, it, it moves. It doesn't stay in place. And so it looks like it's somehow attached to the skin, <laughs> which obviously makes no sense. So that just didn't work. So now we have a replacement. I'm gonna move this a little bit. Here's the new one. And as you can see, the cape is very different. Here we've got where it comes to a point on each side, and here it's squared off. It no longer keys in in that huge key in the back. It's still on the back. but it's a much smaller key on the shoulder, right there. And as you can see, I've removed this several times and put it back on, and there's no red paint. So that is a huge improvement. I'm still being careful when I put it on to avoid the neck as much as I can, one-handed. The other good thing is that the magnet is quite strong and locks right in. So the cape, in my mind, is fixed. Now whether it looks as good, that's for you to decide for yourself. It does look nice when it comes to a point if it had come up to the edge of the fabric of his costume. I prefer that to the squared off look just from a I don't know, aesthetic appearance. It looks cleaner if the edge of the cape meets the edge of the costume, 
but this works very well. There's no scratching. There's no red paint on the neck. It's a strong magnet. It works just fine. And I don't think I'm even going to think about it. I think it's, I'm going to forget about that very soon. Okay. And then as you, as I mentioned, people were a little concerned about that little dot, this guy right here. They thought it should be a triangle like that. And now it is. And then the belt is much cleaner. It's almost like I got an extra coat. <laughs> you see, there's like, there's some blue mixed in here and it just doesn't look right. Here, the belt looks really good. Just no problems at all. Even on the hand over here, if you notice, there's a little bit of, if I can get it focused, there's a little bl uh, blue overspray on the hand, just a little bit. And here, it's really clean. So, in my mind, they fixed every problem that we had with the original. The cape is identical. They both have the S without a dark outline, but I think it, it looks really good. The base is the same. Turn it back in the same direction. They're identical. Everything else is the same. And you know what? It's a pretty cool statue. I had forgotten really how nice it is. I keep my tweeter head stuff on Billy bookcases like this. And you know, they, they get kind of hidden down there. So it was nice to, to get the replacement today, assemble it, and just remember how nice a piece it is. It's a very nice statue. And really amazing of Tweeterhead to replace all of them. I wanted to give you a look of the replacement with the alternate portrait, with the heat vision eyes. I don't usually display this portrait because I'm really big on, on uh, irises. I think that really shows the person inside. But I'm sure that uh, the heat vision portrait is also popular with a lot of collectors. It's no different than the original that you received. Uh, the portraits did not change, but I wanted to just give you a look of how it looks with the, the new cape shape. Really nice portraits for a 1 6th Superman. Really shows determination. It's, he's got that boy next door, handsome look that Superman should have. Really, really nice portraits. So if you've been in the statue game for a while, you know how returns usually work. If you have a problem with a sideshow piece, for example, often they'll have you destroy the defective piece and then they'll send you a new one once you show them photographs of your completely destroyed statue. And that could be hard for some collectors. You don't want to take a hammer to this thing that you pre-ordered and spent a lot of money on and waited a year for and it finally came. And uh, that can be hard. I once had to take a hammer to a exclusive portrait of Thanos on throne. That was not easy. I did a video of it, but it was, it was not easy. Um, but Chad at Tweeterhead is doing something different with Superman. Uh, he is not asking you to destroy your statue. He is not going to police what you do with the old one, the defective one in any way. But he is recommending that you do something charitable with it. Maybe donate it to a children's hospital. Maybe give it to a kid on your street who's been, whose family has been adversely affected by the COVID virus. Uh, do something nice with the statue. Don't just sell it on eBay and, and spend the money on something else. Maybe sell it on eBay and use that money as a donation to the Red Cross or something like that. But uh, in this kind of difficult time for the world with the virus going around everywhere, Chad wanted to do something a little more friendly, a little more. He also didn't want hundreds of Superman's 
in pieces in landfills. That idea didn't appeal to him. And so he thought something more charitable would be a better idea, and I agree with him. I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do yet. Uh, I will be donating it to somebody. I'm not gonna keep it for myself. I'll keep the replacement, <laughs> which is a nice statue, but not the original. So that's your instructions. Uh, you're probably getting your exclusives in the next few days. Uh, do something nice with the original. For those of you that were hoping for a review of the new Sideshow Flash Premium format tonight, I have to apologize. Uh, we thought that those were going to process on Friday and ship out, and I would have it today. Uh, but it turns out that Sideshow has delayed that until Tuesday of next week. So it's likely I'll be receiving my Flash on Wednesday of next week. And if I do, I will, uh, I'll shoot a video and upload it that same night. Uh, other than that, I should be back next week also with uh, Robin from Tweeterhead. So I can show you guys that piece and show it also with the Tweeterhead Batman, Catwoman, Harley, Joker, show the whole uh, Batman family together. So that should be really fun. Otherwise, have a great weekend. Uh, spend time with your family, wear a mask, and uh, I'll see you soon. Take care, guys. Oops, hold up guys. There's one other thing I need to show you. It's right here. Oh wait, hold on, my phone's buzzing. Hello? Wait, what? I can't show it till the 20th? How come? Oh, online Comic Con. All right, all right, no problem, bye. Sorry guys, not till the 20th.